All right, here we're going to go over push down accounting in a consolidation. We'll just go over an overview of it. Now, for our example here, Corporation A, the parent company, is going to buy 80% here of Corporation B, the subsidiary, and they're going to pay $688,000 for the 80% investment in Corporation B. So what they have here is a controlling interest now. And based on that, uh, we've got a total implied fair value here of Corporation B of $860,000. That would be the 100% value here of Corporation B. So going down here and looking at what are we really talking about when we talk about push down accounting. Now normally the subsidiary statements are unaffected by the parent's purchase of a controlling interest. The subs books are not adjusted. The adjustments are made to the consolidation worksheet. In push down accounting the subs accounts are adjusted to their fair value. Retained earnings is eliminated and the balance, the adjusted for the fair value here, uh, that would be the uh, adjustments that we have to make to our accounts for their fair value that is added back to additional paid in capital so going up here and looking at our subsidiaries uh, balance sheet well I've got the book value here showing and then we've got the fair value this is the estimated fair value this is what we're going to adjust the subsidiaries books to and that we have to adjust the assets in the liability accounts here so first doing some preliminary accounting here to determine the fair value of our net assets uh, our total assets here are nine hundred and twenty thousand dollars and then the total liabilities here at their fair value are hundred sixty thousand dollars so the difference between the two gives us seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars here for the fair value of the net assets and then we have to de determine if there's any goodwill in this. So we take the implied price here of the subsidiary, which we calculated at $860,000, less the fair value of its net assets here of $760,000. So we got goodwill here of $100,000 in this consolidation. Okay, now let's look at the adjustments that we're going to have to make here for our push down accounting example. Now, based on the uh, difference here between the book value and the fair value, uh, this is the adjustments that we have to make to our accounts here for the asset and liability accounts. I'm showing them here based on what we have on this balance sheet between the book value and the fair value. And we also have this retained earnings here sitting on the balance sheet here. Uh, at its book value of $185,000. Now that retained earnings here is going to be eliminated and by doing that we have uh, our total adjustments here that we have to make of $710,000. Now that $710,000 for the um, total adjustments here to their fair value plus this retained earnings adjustment, that balance here is going to be added to additional paid in capital for the uh, subsidiary here. So let's go up and look at that balance sheet again here. So we had uh, for additional paid in capital here we had an ex uh, existing amount here of $140,000. So what we would do is we'd add the $710,000 for the changes here that have to be made plus the $140,000 that's existing and we get a total additional paid in capital at this point of $850,000. And at the same time we have to eliminate the retained earnings. Well we had retained earnings here of $185,000 so we reduce that to zero here at the fair value. So if we've adjusted here our additional paid in capital for that that total change here that we've had of $710,000 and then we also have uh, reduced the retain, uh, retained earnings here down to zero. Okay now let's look at this value analysis. Well, we've already determined what our goodwill here was, and that was $100,000. So uh, that would be portioned out here between the parents' 80% interest or $80,000 they would have, and then a non-controlling interest would get $20,000. But what I want to go up to is look at this distribution schedule here. So the fair value of the subsidiary we determined to be $860,000, and then the parents portion here was what they paid 688,000 then the non-controlling interest would be 20 percent of that or $172,000. But what we have to do here is we have to subtract out this total equity and now that would be the equity here of the uh, subsidiary based on the carrying value or its book value here. So that included here uh, its additional paid in capital in this case of $140,000 and then the retained earnings of $185,000. So our 
total equity here was $335,000. So that was portioned out here. 80% uh, would go to the parent here, and that would be 268000 and then 20% here would go to the subsidiary for $67,000. So what we're going to look at here is the, uh, um, so we've got the book value here to determine for the equity amount here. So we have to determine the excess of the fair value over the book value. So taking the in the case here for the total amount here, the $335,000 total equity from the total fair value of the subsidiary of $860,000, we get an excess of a fair value over the book value here of $525,000. Then that was portioned out here to the parents portion 420 and non-controlling interest of $105,000. But what we want to look at here is this adjustments to our accounts here uh, from the carrying value here to the uh, fair value. So what we have done here, we've taken this total amount here of $710,000 and then we added that to the additional paid in capital here for the uh, uh, subsidiary at its uh, fair value here. And then if you subtract out the retained earnings here uh, that we uh, included here in this adjustment, uh, $185,000, the total amount here would be $525,000. And that would be the change here. And that matches the excess of the fair value here or, or of, over the book value of $525,000. So that's the point that I want to make here on these adjustments to our account and how we're going to adjust up the uh, um, fair value here for the subsidiary. Okay, looking at our balance sheet here to review what we've done in this push down accounting. What we've done here is we've increased our additional paid in capital here by, in this case, $710,000. And what that was here is the difference between the book value and the fair value here for the assets and the liabilities. And it also included this retained earnings. We reduced that from $185,000 down to zero here. And what we've done here is we've raised the subs equity account here from $335,000 up to $860,000 thousand dollars for its fair value here. So just taking the difference here, difference between 860 less 335,000, we come up with 525,000 dollars, the difference here. And now that difference here is the excess of the fair value or over the book value here if we look at our distribution schedule. And that was the ex excess that we had to account here for, this fair value over the book value here for, based on our distribution schedule. Okay, to summarize, when using consolidation pushdown accounting, what we've done here for the subsidiary, rather than just make the changes here on the consolidation worksheet for the parent and the subsidiary, we've actually changed here the subsidiary's accounts to their fair value. And we've also adjusted their shareholder's equity up to its fair value as well. So uh, rather than making the changes here on the worksheet, we've actually made them here on the subsidiary's books here at their fair value.